to a close. In the end, 113 bikers, 13 quad drivers, 91 car teams and 54 trucks saw the race out. In the motorbike category, Mark Coma was the overall winner by the time they reached Buenos Aires, the Spaniard winning his second Dakar after his success in 2006. He even managed to lead the race from start to finish, a rare feat which hadn't been accomplished since Stefan Peter Hansel's win in 1997. And the Catalan has certainly won in style. His final lead over second place Cyril Desprez totaling 1 hour and 25 minutes and 1 hour 38 minutes on third place David Fretigny. Three years after his first victory, the KTM Repsol rider has given Spain a third Dakar title. They started out a modest 25, but only 13 quads would finish this year's race. They were led from start to finish by 51-year-old Joseph Maciasek, who once again proved his dependability. Thanks to four special victories and ten stage finishes in the top three, the Yamaha driver has won his fifth Dakar special, beating local hero Marco Patronelli by two hours and 34 minutes. The other performance of the Dakar came from Elizabeth Kraft. She entered the race's history by becoming the first woman to finish the rally in the quad category. In the car category, the race proved to be tough, intense and littered with withdrawals. The majority of the favourites didn't even make it to Buenos Aires. Peter Hansel, Masuoka, Alfon, Aletia and even Carlos Sanz all had to abandon the race. But one man managed to pull through the battle, and that was Geniel de Villiers. The South African entered Buenos Aires triumphant, handing Volkswagen their first victory in the world's greatest rally raid competition. The German company has had to wait five editions to see one of its cars clinch the title and they'll be happy that their choice of a diesel engine has paid off. And so Volkswagen had two drivers on the podium, de Villiers and Mark Miller, joined by Homer's Robbie Gordon in third place. To round up the review, in the truck category, the winner of this South American edition was not to be Vladimir Shagin. Winner of five previous titles, Shagin was out to beat Karel Lopez's record, but his Russian compatriot Firdas Kabirov proved too strong. Shagin was thus relegated to second place, three minutes and 39 seconds off the leader. Nearly an hour off the best time, another Dakar legend Gerard de Roy finished third on the podium.